before we start graphing this function, we want to identify what kind of function it is. First of all, we see a power of 2, which tells us that this is a quadratic, a U-shaped graph. Now, because the power of 2 is on the Y, it's going to be an inverse quadratic, which means it's going to graph sideways. Our best bet is to get X on the other side of the equation. That way, we can get these Ys all by themselves. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 12X to both sides of the equation. This is going to give me y squared plus 2y equal to 12x minus 37. Now, the completing the square process, basically, since y is by itself, we're going to be finding some number to add to this side so that it's a perfect square trinomial. y squared plus 2y. This portion needs to be cut in half, so we make it 1. We square it. And the square root of 1, or excuse me, the square of 1 is 1. So that means we're going to be adding 1 to this quantity, hence why it's called completing the square. Now, because we added 1 to this side, we have to add 1 to this side as well. And so now we have this quantity, 12x minus 36. But over here, since it's a perfect square trinomial, it factors down into y plus 1 to the power of 2. Now we just got to get x by itself. To get x by itself, we're going to add 36 to both sides of the equation. Now, since this is in parentheses, we're just going to leave it the way it is. y plus 1 squared plus 36 equals 12x. And then from there, we're going to divide every single thing by 12. Now, we need a leading coefficient with quadratics, so I'm going to make this 1 12th times the quantity y plus 1 squared plus 3 equals x. This is what we'll use to graph the quadratic. Now, when you have a quadratic in vertex form, that's what this is, you can find the vertex ridiculously easy. All you have to do is ask yourself, how can I make the quantity inside the parentheses 0. You'd say negative 1. Now, be careful about this, because what is negative 1? Specifically, your y value is negative 1. Once you make this negative 1, this becomes 0. 0 squared is 0, times this is still 0, plus 3. And so your vertex happens to be at 3, negative 1, right here. So. From this point, now we just need some inputs and outputs next to that point. Uh, set up an x and y table. Uh, vertex is always in the middle. And since we're using y as an input, let's pick some y values such as, um, let's go one below it and one above it, or vice versa. Um, and we just input and output these, these values that you've calculated. So take this 0, put it in for y. 1 12th, 0 plus 1 squared plus 3. You're going to make these calculations. They're pretty much easy in your head. 0 plus 1, plain old 1, power of 2, still 1, times it by this. You don't have to work tremendously hard. So 3 and 1 12th is equal to x. Let's make the other calculation. Instead of putting in 0, how about we put in negative 2? All right, negative 2 plus 1, negative 1, squared it. And two negatives make a positive, times it by this. We still got 1 12th plus 3, which is the same exact answer as we had before. And that's how you know you're doing it right. These are the same distance away from the middle, so these are going to be the same. Now you got to do is just graph those two inputs and outputs. So let's do 3 and 1 12 is really, really close to 3. Since it's at 0, we're going to put it right there. 3 and 1 12 is again right here, but drop it down to right here. And so our parabola is going to be really wide, like I said in the very beginning. And I hope that helps.